Hello everyone. Let me get to the point. Sockets. Now if you've watched any of my videos on toolbox tours before, I'm pretty happy with everything. I'm just your basic mechanic. I'm certainly no heavy duty mechanic. Um, my one complaint, my sockets that I had, they were mismatched, uh, just a mess. Uh, you know, and I kept saying I was going to you know, unify them and, and make it right and stuff because it was really bothering me. Well, I've said it for probably a year and a half or two years. I finally did it. These are pretty much all Tectons. Um, this one here is, oh, it slipped my mind, wouldn't you know, while I'm filming. Sun, uh, Sun Tech, does that sound familiar? Anyway, I'll get to what that in a minute. And then I've got one set of uh, the Nico. This is a full set, which... I leave as a full set. It's half inch, or it's a three eighths drive. It's a deep and shallow uh, SAE or standard and uh, metric. And it's got a swivel and an extension. It just needs a ratchet. So if I'm gonna go somewhere to, to work on something and I'm not sure what size sockets, I can just take this set with me. So the rest of these, I just cut the lids off of. Like I said, most of them are tectons. Makes a great way to store them. I've got half inch drives, deep and shallow and metric. And in three eighths, I've got deep and shallow standards and um, deep and shallow metrics, three eighths, which is 90% of what I use. And I probably use this about 9%. And then it comes to this. I couldn't find a Tecton set that had both deep and shallow standard and metrics in one set. It was just sockets. I'm not saying they don't make them. But I looked and looked and couldn't find them. So finally I took this because it's rare. In the last year I might have used a quarter inch drive. Oh, I don't know. Twice. And I might have used this half inch deeps or shallows probably 10 or 15 times in this several dozen times. Three eighths my primary, metrics my primary, but I've got it all covered this way. And uh, I've got them moved in here and doing that. I had to move my uh, star and uh, my hex keys or my hex uh, out of this drawer because this is the only deep drawer I've got. Uh, you know, besides the ones in the bottoms, which has got like electric corded power saws and drills that are corded and a bunch of automotive junk, which I wouldn't have nowhere else to put. See what I mean? RV stuff. And this wouldn't be a good place to put those handles. So, by doing this, it forced me to uh, move them up there. Which is no big deal. Still got plier drawers. I was able to move, uh, I've got, again, hex and torx that are uh, socketed here. Up there with the handled ones. Lug nut sets, just some Allen wrenches, some nut drivers, and actually got a little bit more room to mess around with here. So I finally managed to get that socket set all figured out and put together right and looks halfway decent. Everything else is I think pretty much the same. Still loving the Milwaukee. And this baby here, I use it a lot. It's a 3 8 um, fuel. Ratchet, power ratchet, still loving the multi-port um, Milwaukee charger. 12 and 18 volts. This is still doing great, this charger. I did it, I think I did a review video on that. Yeah, I know I did. Um, still loving it. Like I said, everything's working good. Tools are still there. I'm not really gonna get into a toolbox tour because I've done a couple of those and I just wanted to, you know, pretty much show that uh, I finally got some sockets all put around in order.
the way I like them. Because I've always complained about that. And my only complaint really in the past uh, videos. I said I'm not going to do a toolbox tour. And here I am opening them. Anyway. So that's kind of taken care of. Everything's looking good. Of course, uh, got all my oils and wiper fluid and gear oils, ATF fluid. I, had, I had, We have four vehicles. Well, five if you count the RV. The RV, two Jeep Wrangler Unlimiteds, uh, Jeep Compass, and then my youngest kid's got a Chevy Sonic. So dad gets to do all the uh, maintenance to them. And I love that little thing there. It's a five-gallon bucket I got off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find a link to that and some of those tech and tools. And if you're interested in putting them up or look in the description, you can put, you can get four uh, cars, maybe more than that, depending on how many quarts you use. You can put them in that uh, container there and just screw the top on, and it doesn't matter if it tips over or what. Plus, it doesn't smell in your garage when you're ready to go down to the recycling center it's so easy to I used to use a five gallon bucket and that could be a mess but I absolutely love that I know it's just a a bucket but the, or a pail but a uh, container but the uh, cap on tops just really keeps stuff nice and good it's easy to carry it's easy to go dump away and stuff anyway so with that in mind we're going to get out of here Thanks for watching this update. Share and subscribe. All right, guys and gals, that's all I got for you. Till next time, peace.